Hi, I'm Pam Doneen, and I just finished week three of Nutrisystem. So I thought I would show you some of my tricks and tips, what my takeaways are for the week, and then we'll show you, I'll show you my results. So my first thing that is super helpful to me is doing the Uniquely Yours Ultimate program. And that is the Nutrisystem's top program where you don't make any of your own choices. They supply all of the breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The other plans they have what they call is flex meals where each week you make your own breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a snack on your own. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted it all figured out for me. I didn't want any room for mistakes or slight cheats or I, and I actually just didn't want to finish it, figure it out on my own. I wanted it done for me. I, I like that. I, and I do like the food. The food is really good. It has a good flavor. I enjoy it. And, and by having somebody else kind of technically making my meals for me, I feel really taken care of and spoiled. So I like that. I like that it's all figured out and taken care of. And you might say, yeah, but the Uniquely Yours Ultimate program is the most expensive. And I have to say, I did a video on how come it is not. It is actually cheaper to do this program than it is to do the regular Uniquely Yours Ultimate. So I will put that video at the end of this one so that you can take a look at how I figured that out. And then you could do the top plan and it's cheaper. So then the other thing that I find helpful for me is I kind of match what I'm eating to what my family's eating. So if I make pasta for my family, I'll choose a pasta dish. If it's a meat, a meat dish, you know, kind of, kind of sort of matches. And the other day, my sister-in-law invited my husband and I up to watch football with them and to eat chili. And I thought, oh, that's gonna be so fun. And there was chili in my lunch choices. I had a frozen chili for a lunch choice. So what I did on that day was I ate a dinner choice for lunch and then I took my lunch chili up to their house to have chili with them so that it would match with them. And it was great because she had done fresh salsa, which is an extra that I figured out. Then we had fresh cut up jalapeno peppers, fresh cilantro. And if I would have saved one of my power fuels, I could have even sprinkled cheese on the top, but I, I didn't save one of those. So I did not do that and all was good. It was okay. And, um, that way I just fit right in. It, it didn't look different. It, it, it felt fine. And so anyway, well, you know, sometimes though at dinner time, I will not eat a matched dinner because I, I do like to open up the freezer and kind of think, what do I feel like tonight? You know, hmm. And what I have been feeling of, like eating a lot lately is the frozen pizzas. I really like those. I actually cook them in the oven because then they get really crunchy versus the microwave. I didn't like them so well in the microwave, but in the oven, they were really crunchy. And then I sprinkle fresh arugula on top and it just seems like an Italian pizza. So anyway, here, I'll show you. I'll show you what my Italian pizza looks like. Tonight for dinner, I'm having the Italian sausage and turkey pepperoni pizza, and I put fresh arugula on top, so it would be like a fancy Italian pizza. I cooked it in the oven so that it would be really crunchy and good. So that is dinner, and here is the package. I've had this one before, it's really good. So anyway, I'm gonna go enjoy my pizza. Yum, did that look so good? I am waiting for my next shipment to come because I like them so much that I already ate them all.
So I have to wait for my next shipment. Hey, if you could give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe and hit the notification bell, I'd really appreciate it. So anyway, the next thing that I do is I always put my Nutrisystem food on a real plate. So after I prepare it in the containers it comes in, then I transfer it to a real plate or a real bowl so that it can seem fancier. And also I feel like it gives me a chance to look at the portion size when it's on one of my real dinner plates. And I feel like it just looks nicer, it's presented better. Something I do and enjoy doing. The other thing I started thinking about that I have not mentioned in any other videos, and it's because it's the water. And the reason I've not mentioned it is because it is a habit. I started the habit of drinking 80 ounces of water per day, like 15 to 20 years ago. I, and I, it's just something I do every single day is drink water. And what I do, I'll show you what I use. I have these two 40 ounce containers. They're, they're insulated containers and they're 40 ounces each. And in the morning when I get up, it's a habit, I fill these both up. And then I drink them throughout the day. It's, they're always on my counter, always handy. So if I get in the car and go somewhere, I just grab one of these and, and take it with me. And in the summertime, they're fine sitting in the hot car because like I said, they're insulated. And it makes it just so easy having these. And then I don't have to try to remember how many glasses of water I had. Or some people use like rubber bands that they put on containers or make little marks. Or I just don't. It's I fill those in the morning, they're gone by evening. And then when I hike, I take this with me and I fill this water bottle up using one of my 40 ounce water bottles that way I still keep track of how much water I've been drinking and then it has this little pouch in front that you can put your phone band-aids you know whatever you need to have in that little pouch and then I take this little water bottle hiking so I do get my water in and I feel good about drinking water I really when I started doing it, I could tell a real difference in how I felt, so I've just kept it up. The big thing that I'm going to say is do not cheat. Just don't cheat. That I, I, that's one of the reasons I'm doing the Uniquely Yours Ultimate program is because then everything is figured out for me and I, I don't have any room for error. And like if I'm having my coffee cream in the morning, I actually get a tablespoon out, measure it. If I'm having ketchup, measure it. Dressings, anything that's one of the extras, I measure it. Or like if you have almond butter, measure it. Don't be doing this little guessing like, oh, that might be a tablespoon of creamer and when it's probably two, you know, it's just something I'm doing for me. It's kind of like, if I'm gonna do this, I'm just gonna do it. If I'm spending my money, time, and energy on being on Nutrisystem, well then that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to be on Nutrisystem. I'm just gonna see it through to the end. And you know, if for some reason somebody cheats, if you cheat, just get on it back on it right away. Don't give yourself a full day or just, and anyway, I just don't want to cheat from the get-go. So, um, results. The results, let's go take a look at what my results are for this week. Okay, I am ready for week three, end of week three weigh-in, so Let's see how this goes. Oh, 131.8. That is 2.4 pounds this week. Whoa, I'll take that. I was more than happy with my results this week. In fact, 
I was kind of shocked that it was so high. I, I didn't feel like I was losing quite that much. In fact, I got off the scale and then I got back on again because it's like, really? 2.4 pounds? So my first week, I lost three pounds. Second week, I lost a pound. And then my third week, 2.4 pounds. So I have lost 6.4 pounds in three weeks. And I feel great. I'm really, I really am enjoying it. My energy has been good. I, I had a good week. I felt really good. So what my takeaways are for this week are matching your food to what your family's eating the best you can. Eat on a dinner plate so you can make it look fancier and also kind of eye portion size. And then my big one, don't cheat, just don't. Anyway, have an amazing week. I hope that you will give me a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you. I appreciate you.